Now we got this old part of this old dog kennel here. We got some other pipes. This old dog kennel has a little tiny door in it. Got some fencing here. We need to build something first. We gotta drag it out of this crap. It's been in here about three years. See what we can do with it. Hey guys, Shaver 1000 here. So this is what we're doing. We gotta clean a lot of these, like that mess up there, that's all vines. And I think she's wanting to kind of put it back in there. So, what we're gonna do is, she called it a fort, we're gonna build a little hut. I know it's not gonna be all out of wood and everything, but we're using what we have here. As you can see, the, that section of wood's right back there beyond that thing. It's not ours, so I can't just be cutting down trees, and I wouldn't want to because there's no trees the perfect diameter is what we need. So I'm using this for the frame, and we're going to use palm fronds for the roof and sides. So that may take a little bit of time to gather them up. So this is going to be more than one video. But so as you can see, monkey there is starting to cut some of that down so i'm going to go help her and we'll get some of these vines out of the way and then i'll have to turn that and we'll have to see what we got going on so stick around and i'll fast forward you through the boring stuff here and um try to get some of this stuff cut down here so hang tight guys and enjoy the speed up process here Okay guys, rain delay. I'm gonna keep working a little bit, but I can't get my camera wet. It's starting to get soaked. So, I gotta take you guys in, and I'll bring you back out when the rain stops. Hang tight. Typical Florida weather. Pouring out rain, and the sun's shining. Huh. That's where we're working at back there. That corner. Now it's gonna be muddy and soaking wet. Great. Okay, well, you know what they say, if you don't like the weather in Florida, by the time your bags are packed to leave, it's gonna be the day you want it. So, it's been about 20 minutes. We cleared a little bit more out here. It stopped raining. Now I'm gonna go get the tractor and I'm gonna try to mow this right up in here. You'll get the idea here in a minute. That's all the wider I need it to be. Um, but the belt is ready to snap on the tractor. So I'd rather have it snap halfway through this than halfway through cutting the, the yard. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go get the tractor. And let's see if we can get some of this cut down here. All right, guys, here we go. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Got a flat on the front left that's not on the back, so I'm not real concerned about it because I don't think I can get all that mowed or not. So... Uh, We'll see.
Okay guys, so we got the framework up. I'm just missing a little piece for right here, but that's not a problem. I can take one of those over there and shove in there. Um, so we got our framework up. We're gonna make a peaked roof out of maybe these or whatever put down through there because it's going to have palm fronds on the roof and sides You're gonna put palm, palm fronds on the roof. yeah so it'll yeah so it'll look like a hut yeah. so that's cool i got this old fencing here that used to go around it and across the top yeah. i'm thinking about using some of that so I can thatch my palm fronds in. Mm -hmm. I got it. But if I don't do that, I've got other ideas. But yeah, that's the idea there. Sorry I didn't have you film and I just got busy and I think she was. Yeah. Most of it. You're just gonna time lapse it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be our little hut. It it would have been <laughs> A lot longer than that we shortened it up yeah. it was going to be out to like here we shortened it up a good four or five feet because what I'm going to do is I'll put a hook here and a hook here once it's done and this will be where we can hang our hammock right through here so it'll go from that corner to that corner we'll hang a hammock a hammock so that'll be cool to sleep in, film in, whatever. And before anybody says it, no, monkey didn't throw me into the doghouse. I already used that joke, didn't I, monk? Yes. So even though it was off camera, I already said it. Well, it's been sitting back here forever, so why not? Yeah, so I'll use probably these green ones because they're a lot sturdier than the white ones. I got a bunch of these green ones. I'll use to make the roof will be like this to go across the top so that'll be cool awesome hey, I'll be back with you I'm not sure if I'm going to continue or not yeah, there's it like rain again well, uh, I know but continue until it rains yeah but I mean, dig some of that out of there. That's all fencing there. I know. All that stuff in there. But I figure if I use that fencing, that's what I can thatch my palm fronds on. I may have enough around here to do the roof, but I don't have enough yet to do the sides. So we'll have to wait on more of these palm fronds to come down. This tree here, when I moved in with her, was right up there to where you see the leaves used to be down here and i and i trimmed it so we can mow around it and that's how big it got it grew a good 15 18 feet since we've been together so yeah that one used to be the same way and those shorter ones over there used to be like this big so i'll use some of those because i think that may end up coming down anyway so that little one that short one oh, yeah. the short palm tree yeah so i'm going to use some palms off of it mm -hmm. and they're as you can see they're always falling down yeah and then we got them. all these here that i can use nobody's going to use them so that would be probably be enough for the roof and then as these come down i can do the sides same way with this see how they just die off and fall down same way with this one here they'll fall down so I probably got enough to thatch a roof at least if anything we'll have like a little tiny gazebo hut to go into mm -hmm. you know yep. until we get the walls up yeah yeah pretty cool mm -hmm. all right I'll be back with you okay guys so there's what we've got done so far we got the the frame up so 
it needs to be sturdied up a little bit but that'll get there it's going to be several videos this is not a super shelter guys i'm not i'm not calling it it's a it's a hut okay or a shed whatever you want to call it i'm calling it a hut i'm not calling it a super shelter these guys they go build them adirondack shelters and they cut the trees down right there and all this and and you know they call it a super shelter you ask them why they call it a super shelter because it's a place i can go into to get warm i can get out of the weather i can cook in there i can sleep in there well if that's the case that right there is a super shelter right yeah. i mean really what they're doing is building little cabins or tiny houses calling them super shelters i'm just building a hut and I know, like I said, I'm not using logs, I'm using a frame, but I'm repurposing something that would have went to the scrap yard or laid here another five years. I'm repurposing it to build a little shelter, if that's what you want to call it, just a little hut that we can go in, you know, have a few drinks, make some videos, and camp out in it. That's all, it's not a super shelter. Like I said, that house does everything a super shelter does. But I did everything out of the woods. Well, I'm not in the woods. This is just our backyard. This is just stuff what we got laying around. So it's not going to cost us a dime. I'm not going to have a penny in this. So, you know, if you guys got an old dog kennel you're not using anymore, you can do the same thing. Yeah, why not? You know, and you can call a super shelter if you want. I'm just calling it, it's just a little hot, you okay. know. And, you know, as far as palm fronds once i get them thatched in i'll get them in there good and tight but if any blow off there's plenty of palm fronds around here that'll fall down you know it's not a big deal it's just going to be a little <laughs> shelter to go in and make you guys videos and you know sleep in it and monkey says she's not going to do any solo camp outs but i like to see her do one i'll think about it because <laughs> well, it's so dark back here at night She's worried about the creepy crawly. She's not really scared of the dark. She's scared of what's in the dark, which is really nothing. But I'd like to see her do one. It wouldn't last all night, I don't think. I think you would once you got in there, because once she goes to sleep, she's out. <laughs> she wouldn't feel a snake crawling across her if she was sleeping. But I think it'd be fun for her to do at least, you gotta do at least one. You have outdoor playlist. You have a camping playlist, right? Well, anyway, yeah, so, you know, at least one. I'll do a lot out here. Um, I have an adventure one. That's yeah, there you go, adventure. That'd be an adventure for you. <laughs> but, you know, so I got, I'll be, I'll be doing a solo the 25th of November. Can't film so I'll be doing a solo the 25th of November, day after Thanksgiving. It'll be my Thanksgiving one. I know it'll be a day after, but that's okay, you know. But my actual yearly solo was going to be in December. I'm going to go try that island. Yeah, that would be cool. I'm going to try that out. I think I'll, I think I'll be all right there. Worst, worst can happen, somebody tell me to leave. Yeah. But if they're not an authority figure, I won't leave. Because <laughs> I know that's state-owned property. Yeah. That's not private property. Right. So, I mean, years ago, I ran into that problem once. I was camping on a place. A forest ranger came up and, you know, said, well, we don't allow overnight camping here. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You know, I'll pack up and go. He was like, no, no, no. If you're just going to be here overnight, don't worry about it. Just, you know, future reference. He was really cool about it, but that was Ohio. So, I mean, that would be the only thing if a ranger on a boat comes by and sees my boat there he's going to see me but you know that's okay it's not a big deal to me uh if i gotta move i gotta move it's not a big deal because i'm not stealth camping I, that's another thing to me stealth camping is kind of slapping the homeless veterans in the face you know because if you get asked to leave you can go home they don't have a home to go to if they get asked to leave they got to go find another place usually walking but yeah, that's not a super shelter, guys. It's, it's just going to be a little hut. That's all a little cool, cool little thing to to go into and and have some fun, huh, Mom? Yeah. So anyway, guys, that's my take on the super shelters. You're building an Adirondack shelter, which is really just a funky-looking cabin with no front door. 
or you're building a little cabin. That's a, to me, it's a super shelter, which is kind of a house, you know? I mean, that's a super shelter because we, we stay dry in there. We can cook in there. We stay warm in there. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Same thing with this. So I'm not going to call this a house and I'm not going to call that a super shelter. <laughs> We're just building a hut for fun. Because yeah. she said, you should build a shelter in the backyard. As soon as she said that, I was like, really? She's like, yeah. I already had it in my head. Well, I got half the shelter already built. Well, we've rebuilt it. We took it all down. I didn't film any of that. Maybe I'll use some of her clips. But I, like I said, I just started getting into it. and um, So we got that put up. So I was like, I come out here the other night. She was out here with Bruno. And I was looking at it, and when I told her what I was going, she said, "Oh, that's what you was looking at last night." So we, yeah, we did shorten it up because it was just going to be too, too long and narrow. Would have felt more like a mobile home super shelter. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I could have made it more square, wider, had enough tubing. I could have made it wider, but I, you know, that's going to be good enough for us. Yeah. You know, just to go have fun in, like. You know, instead of driving clear out to the river and, and you know, making, you got to make a reservation and it's real hard to get reservations there. And a lot of times they'll cancel. They canceled my reservation before and yeah. they didn't bad. give me a reason. They just canceled my reservation. So I went out. That was first, my first solo on the boat when I slept on the boat. Yeah. They, they didn't give me a reason. They just camp, canceled my reservation and that was it. So I went out there, I thought maybe it's flooded. It wasn't flooded. No. There's people camping. Plus it was open campsite. So why they canceled me, I don't know. So in this case, you know, I can just, you know, hey, I'm gonna go camp out tonight. I can just grab my bag and walk out in the backyard. I know it's not wild camping, but you don't have to be that. It doesn't have to be like that every time, you know? Like a lot of them guys, they think they, it's, oh, I don't wanna camp in my backyard. That's cheating. No, it's no, not. not. You're cheating for what? You know, it's only cheating if you try to pretend like you're out somewhere when you're not. Right. I don't do that. We camp in our backyard sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know, you're outside. So anyway, guys, so that's that. Monk. Bye. Oh, bye you all. <laughs> Have a great day. What? <laughs> Say better myth man legend. I'm gone for now. Stay tuned for more of this. It's not gonna be its own playlist. It's just gonna be under the the right. nature and outdoors or um, playlist that I got. So um, yeah, it's gonna go under that. So be fun. we're you know we'll film a little bit here and there. It'll take us a few days to get it done, but yeah. it's okay. When it's done, it'll be well worth the payoff, and then we'll make more videos inside that thing huh yeah. not gonna have any windows or nothing it's gonna be walls yeah. yeah so it'll be fun all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it we'll see you in the next one bye bye and take care